everybody, I'm Gigi, also known as the Salmon Queen, and today I'm in the E2M kitchen because I am gonna be making, you guessed it, a salmon dish. But this dish is gonna be delivered to your door. So, are you ready to see how we cook this? I am. Yeah, you are. Oh. Why don't you introduce yourself, although I'm sure everybody knows you already. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I love that pump up. So, my name is Chef Andres. <laughs> I am the director of production for E2M Kitchen, and I'm going to be her lovely assistant today. Yes, he is. He's going to do all my chopping for me, so I don't have to. I can just focus on this beauty right here, my favorite salmon. Uh, today, we're going to be making crispy salmon with a basil sauce. Ooh. I know. Usually, you don't really think of basil sauce. You just think, oh, I'm gonna put a little piece of basil on top and there it is. But no, we're really incorporating the basil flavor into the sauce itself. Awesome. So I'm gonna be pan searing the salmon. You're gonna help me chop up all of these things and put it in the blender. And then we're gonna put this basil sauce over the top of asparagus and roasted red peppers. But the best part in my personal opinion, capers. Ooh, I love capers. I love this little salty little bite to it. Exactly. But a lot of people don't even know what capers are. What are capers? Uh, it's a berry, uh, but I'm only going to go as far as to say that, because I don't want to sound like an idiot if I get it wrong. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But what I do know is they're high in quercetin, which is an anti-inflammatory, awesome. and it actually helps reduce your likelihood of having allergic reactions to things like airborne allergens. Really? I so know, kind of cool. All right. I know. So, why don't we get down to business? All right, cool. Let's get right. down to it. All right. So, so, first, I think what we need to do first is let's slice up the shallot really, really, really thin. Okay, thinly yeah. sliced, no problem. Thinly sliced, because this is a very easy recipe. So, basically, what's going to happen is we're going to thinly slice that. Then we're gonna take all of these components and we're gonna put them in the blender we have over here. Right. So what we're also gonna do is loosely chop up the basil just so you know it helps out the blender with the blending process. All right, so now is the shallots going in the bowl with this or is it going in the blender? It's actually gonna go in the bowl with the asparagus and the roasted red peppers. Awesome, do you mind grabbing the bowl? Of course, Thank I am you. your assistant right oh, now. You know what, back and forth, I love it. <laughs> Now, what I could actually do right now is cook the salmon because this is gonna take next to no time. The asparagus was already blanched, which is a type of poaching, if you will. So basically what you do, you do is you would boil some water, put the asparagus in there, cook it for like two minutes, and then put it in an ice bath because you don't want it to cook too much, otherwise it gets really soggy and mushy. Um, so I'm gonna get to going here because this is a hot, hot pan. All so right. I'm going to take a little bit of this oil here. Oh, look at that. Stuff right there. Oh. A little bit for you. Yeah, turn it up the heat. I there got you it. go. Yeah. Swirl that around. And then a lot of people ask the question of, do I put my salmon skin down or flesh down first? In my personal opinion, doesn't matter. So. I'm just gonna take this beauty right here. See this beauty? I'm gonna go, shabam! <laughs> I wish it had that sizzle effect, but it didn't. Uh, but that's fine, because it's just gonna, it's gonna do its, its thing and cook. Oh, yes. Eventually. Eventually. Uh, yeah, so you just turn the heat up, so that's nice. I'm gonna rinse my hands off real quick, because sure, I sure. totally so, just right touched the salmon. You always gotta wash your hands, everybody, after you touch the, the raw, fish and chicken and meat. I'm gonna grab you a towel. Oh, thank right you. Behind you. There My you assistant, go. everybody. Round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah, so it's doing a little sizzle action right now. It's just gonna, it's gonna take some time. Depending on the type of burner you have, it will vary in terms of time, how long pan searing salmon takes. Uh, I personally use gas, mm -hmm. so that usually takes a little bit uh, less time. Uh, than the electric. So let me ask you a question. So what's a good tall tale sign, let's say, okay, when the pan is hot enough to actually add the oil on the salmon, will it start to smoke a little bit? Um, it'll start to smoke a little bit, but I try to get to putting the salmon on there right before it okay. smokes. Okay. Now, obviously not everyone ha has that eye as mm. to when that's gonna happen, but if you just kind of go like this mm -hmm. with your hand and you feel the heat, it's, it's time to get down to business. All right, all yeah. right. So while that's going, I have the basil chiffonade. Do you want awesome. to start on the sauce real quick? Yes, let's get that going. All right, so I'm gonna so, add the basil. Okay, cool. 
the basil chiffonade. Ooh, there you go. Fancy terminology, I yeah. like it. <laughs> Amazing, so now we gotta do some garlic. All right. Yeah, you gotta smash that baby. Yeah, yeah, there I you almost go. caught you there. Yeah, you were gonna do it. I'm gonna do a smash it, just to chop it a little bit. Yeah, just a and little bit. Let's add that to it. Great. Okay, what else? Okay, now we need some mustard. All right, hand me that little spoon over there for me. Yeah, of course. Thank you, thank you. This is there. my favorite sound on the face of the planet because I know salmon is a cooking. And a little bit of vinegar? Yes, a little vinegar. Great. And then salt and pepper, just okay. super simple. Super simple. Awesome. Yeah, I'm also, I'm all about the, the clean, simple ingredients because I really like the flavors of the foods that I'm eating to pop. So usually when I make salmon, I'm just doing salt. And that's, that's pretty much it. I'm not a huge spicy person. I don't know about you, but spicy and I just do not get along. You know what? I actually like spicy. Do you? I yes. feel like I'm in the yes. minority when it comes to spicy versus not spicy. Um, so yeah. Okay, so we need a little oil in there as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Awesome. Let's blend that baby up. If we can put the top on. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Looking good. How's the sauce looking? Looking good. I feel like it could use a little bit more basil. No problem. Let's add some more basil. Yeah, because usually it's up. a little bit greener, so. Yeah, let's go ahead. All the yeah, you shifting on that baby up. There you go, roll it up. <laughs> Love it. Now, this is my favorite because I'm starting to see it really brown on this side. Just looking, looking real good. So now, at this point, I'm gonna flip it over. We'll let that cook. That looks beautiful. I know, it's so pretty. All right, I had to stop saying that. That looks phenomenal. It looks so good. I cannot wait to eat it. All I want to do is eat it right now. I'm going to pounce on it. All right. Yeah. We'll let that sit for a minute. Amazing. Okay, so All what right. we can do now is just put the asparagus, roasted red peppers, and the uh, capers in the bowl. Sure, sure. I'm going to grab the tongs, the smaller ones over there for you. This little guy. Yeah. Look at you, using all the tongs. I would've just like torn it in there with my hand. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna turn this heat down a little bit. Don't wanna burn the skin, cause that would be a problem. And we're gonna add a little roasted red peppers? Yes, please. All right. Okay, we're gonna just put it on the side like that. Gorgeous. Yeah, the capers, capers, everyone. That quercetin going in the bowl. All right. Awesome. Now, the best part is you pour the sauce over the top and then all you right. toss it all up. Move this out the way. Let's get some of the sauce. There we go. Oof. I'm gonna I am so hungry right now. <laughs> and these smells are just making me even more so. The rest of the sauce to the side. We can add some of that on top. Perfect. Give this a nice little mix. You were doing so well. Oh, thank you. I mean, if anything, I would have thought you were a pro here. Oh, I know. You know what? My past life, I used to be a hand model. You can see. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, for real. There we go. We should get you an agent. Oh, you know what? We need to work on that. <laughs> How do you feel about getting uh, manicures often? You know what? I wouldn't even mind. Yeah? So I mean... Throw in a pedicure, pedicure and we'll be fine. Yeah, for real, pedicures yeah, are the yeah. best. <laughs> <laughs> I like a man who's confident with himself enough to go get a pedicure. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> well that is perfect. All right. And this is almost done. Do you see that beautiful browning right there? Oh, I see that. I know. Oh, I cannot wait to see I have tears of happiness right, right now. This is very bright and colorful. I, that's it my favorite. beautiful. That's my favorite. I love colorful food because it just makes you feel like you're eating healthy food, oh, you yes. know? Oh yes, and we as eat you with see, our eyes. Yeah, we eat with our eyes. So, and as you see, it's just such simple ingredients to yes, make something so good. Granted, 
You haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if you think it's gonna be oh, good. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fabulous. <laughs> Let's pray. All right, okay. almost done, guys, almost done. All right. And then we're gonna use this plate, yeah? Yep. And I'll let you plate this bad boy. I'm excited to, I love to plate. Here we go, we got this. All right, I'm gonna yes. grab a little spoon for the sauce if you wanna add a little bit on top. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Enough. I'm gonna move it nice out the way for you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. All right. So one thing I have to note about uh -huh. cooking salmon, which I'm sure you're aware, aware of, but people tend to try and flip their salmon too soon. Mm. So you really have to pay attention when you are pan frying salmon. You gotta see this like opaqueness start to turn in the salmon. And then you take your tongs and you lightly, just ever so lightly pull at it to see if it, it's movable. If it doesn't move, do not touch it. Okay. Because you are going to ruin your piece of salmon. Is that why it sticks when you try to yes. move it too soon? Got it. Yes. And, uh, and then once it starts moving like that, like you're moving it, you're like, okay, great, I can turn it. The skin got a little burnt, unfortunately, because the heat was a little high, but it's okay, I'd still eat it. Um, but yeah, otherwise, this is one beautiful piece of salmon. So right. that's just a tip. Unfortunately, everybody, when you pan sear salmon, you just gotta keep an eye on it. You can't go do your laundry or anything like that. You just gotta be in the kitchen, which I don't think is a very bad place to be. No, I so, love the kitchen. I know. <laughs> Okay, so what I think we are, we should do here okay. is we should put a little bit of it down on the plate and then put the salmon on top of it. Awesome. Yeah, so then all of the fat from the salmon can get into this little salad here and give it a little extra flavor. Oh, because fat is flavor, right? Fat is flavor. It's my okay. favorite macronutrient on this planet, for sure. A little red hair. There we go, make it look pretty. Yes, 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 yes. I think that's probably enough to make a little bed. Why don't you do that? I'm gonna grab some forks so we can try this. Oh my god. Yes, the magic words. Try this. There we go. Forks. Oh, look at how pretty it is. It's so good. Making me teary eyes. Making something beautiful over here. <laughs> oh gosh. Now, uh, we could put a little bit of salt, so I'm gonna just put a little okay. bit of salt. Are you a salt person? Oh, I love salt. Okay, good. I'm glad, because I'm a huge salt person. Um, and you know, we can drizzle a little salt on. Oh, why not? Why not? Let's go yeah, for it. Yeah, let's drizzle a little. Let's put it on there. Gotta make sure your sauce is up to snuff here. Beautiful color on that salmon. I know. It's real pretty. It's making me very, very happy. There we go. Ta da! The go. salmon is done, everybody. And now we get to eat it. That's the best part. That is the best part. I have the forks right over oh, there. Yeah. Let's dig in. Oh, just grab you one. Oh, here. thank you. Yes, of course. All right, ladies first. Okay, so. I have to tell you something else about salmon. Um, this portion is the belly portion, mm -hmm. which means it's fattier. Okay. This portion is the loin portion, which is a little less fatty. And this girl loves belly portion. I do too. Let's go. Yeah, let's, you, let's both dive in there. All right, ready? All right. Yes. Oh, and it's cooked perfectly. Nothing, I, I don't like underdone salmon, so this oh, is perfect for me. So good. Okay, so the acidity from a little bit of the vinegar and the mustard and all of that, paired with the fattiness of the salmon. Wow. Yes, I think yes. You did a great job. Yeah, I think we just need a little more salt, you know. I can't wait to get this on shelves. What? I can't wait to get this on shelves to uh, start sending them out to you. Guys, if this doesn't sound delicious, what's wrong? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> All right, I'm going in for a second bite. Yeah, I'm really, I'm about to dig in. So apologies to uh, show you guys my eating, but I also don't care because I just love it so much. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. Beautiful. All right. So 
If you guys are excited about this, I'm glad because this is one of my favorite salmon recipes on the face of the planet and you guys can have it in your kitchen really soon.